birthday Tuesday. He's in the truck. At least I'm gonna join him. Here in a minute. See our wonderful RV. Oh, nice and clean. The weather dads were with us this weekend. Well, I'm gonna hop in the truck now and we will see you when we get to the campsite. Bye. No guard home. Samson State Park, uh, end, of the, end of September here, so beginning of uh, fall, it's gorgeous. So let's start, uh, let's start with check-in. Let's start out why we chose this place, which we choose every year in the fall. Well, yeah. Just... It, it's close to us and it's just, uh, it's just a nice campsite and uh, clean. clean, easy to get accessibility to our friends, which will be here uh, Saturday, tomorrow. tomorrow night, Saturday night, we're Friday night tonight. So. Um, we got a few toddies mixed up. <laughs> um, this time, uh, vodka, a little Tito's vodka. Mm. Uh, they're not real strong though, so these nah, are it's, no, it's these early. are more easy because it is. What is it? Four o'clock. Yeah, a little up to four. So four o'clock on a Friday. So let's talk about first check-in. That's what we always do. Sampson State Park check-in. Um, easy. easy, easy peasy. Walk in. You have a mask, of course. Uh, you do everything online ahead of time in a Reserve America. Reserve RV America, that's what it is, ReserveRVAmerica.com because it's a state park. Um, no drone flying here because it is a state park, at least in New York State, so mm -hmm. be great to get some aerial shots here, and especially yeah. down by the lake. Um, and the foliage, it's already starting. Foliage is starting to turn, so yeah. some of the trees are getting to be nice and orangey red. and Very pretty. Very pretty. We're actually looking across yeah. at some of it now. And, uh, of course, as we... We say this, we'll have some B-roll flipping by mm. about the overlay video B-roll. Yeah. So um, we'll kind of show you a little bit about the park. But check-ins, a breeze, piece of cake. Um, get here. Last year we came here in, in the dark. Almost did. And it was a BITC to get back then. Uh, uh, there's oh, so many trees around here. Um, and, of course, everybody was uh, doing their happy hour or dinner or whatever. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, when you back in, you hate to kind of have your headlights shining into someone shining else's. into their sight when yeah. they're they're uh, you know drinking or or eating or whatever. So, but so this year we came much earlier. And we came a day sooner too. So this is our second day already. Okay, so check-in was a breeze. So mm -hmm. the park itself is awesome. It's easy to get in and out. Um, it's it's fairly inexpensive. It's, I think like thirty-five dollars a night, but it's electric only. So you don't get uh, water or you don't get sewer septic, but you can fill up. There are some, um, right. and, and I'll show you a video of us doing that. Oh, okay, so now you see KJ, we are at the park and we are gonna fill up water. Okay, my makeshift plumbing, uh, they did uh, a little after I got the RV. So uh, instead of taking the hose right here and then connecting it into each one of these, depending on what you wanted, uh, fresh water, city water or flush the black tank i plumbed it in you can see the little pvc pipe that other line right there is going to run over for another line uh, to hook up the uh, pressure washer so whatever valve uh, that one's open right there and of course then you can see these are shut and they go and fill city water that's the black and of course that's the tank fill we're using this one right now and you can actually hear the water going through that one right now so I did a manifold, basically right up above here. I built a little manifold and uh, shot these valves down. And this is for a pressure washer or any other hookups that I wanted to do and still utilize the uh, water softener here. And of course, then we got a pressure regulator here and that's variable. I can change that depending upon what I want. You can see there's no uh, pressure at all. When we're just filling the tanks, 20 pounds is all. Mm, interesting. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And why do we do this? Because this park has electric, but they have no and, water. Uh, but you got uh, 30 amp service here. They don't give you 50, so make sure you have a reducing plug if you have a 50 amp uh, plug. Not a problem, uh, of course, if you have that. Mm -hmm. And we also did a nice stroll down at the lake uh, last night. And mm -hmm. 
I don't know. I've been on this lake so many times and in that marina so many times. It was. It was nice. It was pristine. dead calm. Yeah. Dead calm. I, I don't think I've ever been there when there uh, there wasn't a whisper of uh, wind. Wait, or, I, yeah. Unfortunately, there's a couple bugs because there is no wind. So, yeah. but other than that, it's this is gorgeous to stay. Yeah, we'll spin around and show. We're walking right beside the marina here. We got the boats. And we got the lake on this side of us. Doesn't get much better than this, I'll tell you that. that. One little boat out there fishing, probably. Well, I can hear them talk. Just look at you, look at their conversation. Yeah. But, uh, right. Fishermen. Mm -hmm. They're talking about a strip club they were in last night. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Yeah, he, they got you a, would. He got a lab dance. Oh, whatever. So, Samson State Park, it was a naval base. Uh, My mom worked here back in the day. Back in the day. World War II yep. was a uh, happening place. This place was zooming. It employed a lot not that I, of people. Not that I remember, but I've seen pictures. I don't either. And I've heard my dad talk about it a lot of times. My mom told stories of all the, you know, she met so many men from all over the, you know, the country. Oh, and, meeting men. No, huh? but I'm saying... <laughs> you know, it, like she said, it was sad because you, they were, some of them were so young and you don't know if they ever came back. It's, you know, a lot of people met their husbands here. I know. Now this place was zooming. So I'll try to put some uh, clips in. Yeah. Of back in the day. Might be black and white, but we'll insert these clips and here too. So you guys can wow. see what we're talking about. We <laughs> used to, we used to sail out of here on uh, one of our one friends', of friends. sailboats. Uh, my brother and I did. Um, Hundreds, if not thousands, of times. In fact, our go ahead. Our our slip or berth, whatever you want to call it, was right back here. Is one. Two, this is the second one right here on that far side. So, oh, we were intoxicated as a mofo down here. Ooh, wasn't good. Okay, so we'll go and I'll show you to the lake side a little bit as we walk by. Look it from PA. Look at, yep, Pennsylvania. From all over yep. So our, our Debbie just flag. saw this boat here, and she goes, "Look, it's from PA." And yes, um, because this lake, this lake is about 34 miles long. When we were young, on the we bottom side of it is Watkins Glen. Right. Watkins Glen technically is only but half an hour at max. I appreciate it. Now I I see like I'm, why people come here, and we have it. We had it all our life. Because <laughs> I'm explaining it. about how far Sorry. away. Pennsylvania is, you're on a tangent I'm of some other sort. Ah, oh, come on, you're not gonna say that now. You're not gonna say that now. You're gonna pull that hen house now when the boat gets another one. You know, well, you, honey, we're not that far I actually know, from Pennsylvania. She thinks, oh. It's nice to see because. And another one, look at Williamsport. It. Yeah, Hall of Fame, baseball. <laughs> Little League. Little League. Little League. If you drink a lot, it's Little League. Little League. And then, then there's a no-name boat like this here yeah, down. See? Here. That just keeps you guessing right there. I like yeah. that. Those are jet ski launches. Look at Those that. are jet ski ramps. I've never seen them. Like oh, yeah. Wow. wow. There we go. Jet ski ramps. Debbie's never seen them. Like Debbie's that. never seen a lot of things. Yeah, you drive right up on them. Yeah, I know. Well, for the look of them, like those new high-tech things. Well, I wouldn't call them too new a high tech, but we don't. You we don't, had one. We had our jet skis in. We just never really I utilized know. them much. It, yeah, a little bit of haziness, but since the fire is out in California, um, we've been having a lot of hazy days. Yes. I mean, they seem like they're sunny days, but then they're not really sunny days. And then at nighttime, you get that kind of weird orangey, yeah. dull orange. Uh, Color sunset. in the air from the sunset. sunset yeah. It's just lighting up the the yeah. smoke molecules, I guess, in the air, and it's kind of strange too on that. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, tonight we're going to try to go do another uh, sunset. sunset. We did last night, but it wasn't much of one. Which I'm going to have that B-roll playing for you right now, hopefully. <laughs> um, and we'll do it again tonight because we're big on the sunsets or whatever. And then uh, so we did a, a bike tour today. Went around, uh, I went around all the loops. Um, I'll, I'll tack that in a little bit later without Debbie. With Debbie, we just went down and uh, crossed uh, one of the ravine bridges. Yes. And then we pretty. went over by the, they got a bunch of nice cabins they rent out, mm -hmm. lease rent. And so we went over that way, not all the way down into the, <clears throat> to the marina or to the lake. Right. Um, and then we worked our way up to the museum. Yeah. Over Good here start. we got the fire. So, so it's. The fire. Okay. There, Debbie. Oh, yeah. 
She's down there. There's a little fire going. Fake fire, of course. LED. Don't feel good. So this Big is the fire. end of uh, day one, Thursday at Sampson State Park. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's kind of weird for us. It went pretty fast. 10 to 9. Look at how morning. Dark. It's Friday morning. And uh, it's about 11.30 right now. Gonna do a little breakfast. Uh, then we're going to tour around uh, Samson here. And for breakfast, Debbie whipped me up a little steak and eggs. Samson used to be a flourishing big naval base. That's where we're at right now. They trained mm -hmm. uh, their cadets or it's are huge. They cadets, I guess they are. Oh, I am. <laughs> and yes, yeah, so this was huge. Back in the day, my, my parents always it. told stories. So Debbie and I both grew up in Geneva, which is at the head of this lake. And my parents always told mm -hmm. about all the stories about how it was booming on a Saturday yeah. night, and, you know, a USO dance yeah. or whatever. And, and the whole town was just booming with, yeah. uh, you know, Navy uh, cadets or yeah, so. That's it. Aren't they cadets? It's Rhode Annapolis, Island. Annapolis. Well, that's, okay, Annapolis, okay. That's Aren't they cadets? I don't know. Don't mean it. I don't know. Well, that's, just Annapolis is a naval. Servicemen. I don't right. know. Right, yeah. but they're, they're, that's Navy. So we went into the museum, and we actually knew the guy that was at the uh, door, the greeter. Our friend Dan. We've known Dan for quite a while here. So yes, Dan's going to give us a little overview of what's going on I'm here. I'm going to give you the short version, and we'll get you on your way. This entire building was the jail or the break when uh, Samson was a training base. From 1942 to 45, the Navy was here. And they trained 411,000 guys for World War II. And then from 1950 to 56, the Air Force used the base. They trained 340,000 for the Korean War. Wow. So about three quarters of million guys actually. Included. I know. Wow. That That's crazy. And we're going to start you on the first door okay. on the left. It's going to show you the building of the base, the World War II years. You'll come oh. across to the dark blue door. Okay. And you'll yep. come through the Air Force Korean War years, and then you'll come out here where we still have some of the original cell blocks. Oh, I got you. I can see the cell blocks. Okay, great. And just keep your mask on inside. Yes. Thank you, Dan. Okay, thank you. We'll see you in a little bit. Entrance, where are you going? Oh, sorry. Oh. What's left of it? We're going to go. We're going to see this one right here. That one's still standing. Possibly one over there, but I know that one is. So if you do get here, um, make sure you go. But he said they're open tomorrow and Sunday, so you can, right. you know. Until 2.30 to again. 2 10 to 2.30 or something I like that. I think something like that, yeah. And we were right there about 1.30. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, we, we kind of breezed through there. And, and I'll tell you what, hmm. that's an understatement. You cannot do uh, that place it's hard. in just an hour. I mean, yeah. if you want to just look quick, but there's so much to look at and, and read, read and the stories and the plaques and everything reading else. all the names of all the, ugh. Oh. Man. Yeah, it, it, they, they did a really good job. Sometimes though. it felt eerie a little bit, but it's just our history. But it blew me away. I think it's very I, honorable very, to all the soldiers. How they set it up was phenomenal. Sailors that we lost, and uh, and they, they did yes. a memorial, like a granite uh, wall with uh, all their names on it. And, outside and we, of it, yeah. I filmed that too, so there we go again. B-roll should be yeah, putting that in right now. <laughs> yeah, so that was pretty touching. And then they yeah. had a nice plane out there, and... Uh, a missile, or what was it? That was a torpedo, a torpedo, a big torpedo. Which it's amazing how big they are when you see them up close. I mean, this thing's like but inside 12 feet is, long or something. It was. Amazing. It used to be the brig. Okay. Yep. Used jail. to be the prison, the jail, prison, the brig. Yep. Yep. And, and so they they converted it uh, now to a museum. To a museum. But they did keep a couple rooms for that to show the actual cells. Yeah, and we'll show that towards yeah, the end of this. you'll see that. We'll show that so towards that the end of it. So that was interesting, too. But what they do is they start out, you you, you go yeah. in one direction in there, and yeah. uh, the place is kind of like, and not, I'm not going to say a Pentagon, because it's really square, but you, yeah. you go around the perimeter of the place, <laughs> and the inside, I believe, yeah. was kind of like the yard or the it exercise like yard a, yeah. for the prison mm -hmm. or the brig when it was there. Well, two wars. Two wars. So you start out in World, World War, War II, II, and so you start old to newer. And you work your way around the building in a clockwise direction. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, the, the dentist chair that I got. I know. I, mean, and I, just, then they, was, try, I was, was trying to read really everything. really cool back then. How, just amazing the, the, what they still have, what they've gotten from people, and donated. Then the, and the rations, you know, the, the trays they got for the, the, oh. the sailors that were, you know, having their meals. But I think, well, we got a bunch of kids she now that it. are coming by. Sorry, guys. She, she got it. She wrote it. Cool. Riding her bikes for the first time. 
So Thank yeah. You. Okay, so focus here. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was that was interesting on on all that aspect. And my yes. dad was in World War II. Uh, so he was he fought, fought over in Germany <laughs> and France. And yes. Um, and my mom worked in, out there at Samson. And yeah, her mom worked out at Samson. Handing out the back uniforms was, back in the day. And she would day. say how many boys she boys she'd say boys because they were young. Oh, yeah. Came through there, and you know, y'all. She often wondered like, where are they, or what happened to them, and so it was. It was, it was different for me to like be there and know that, you know. I don't know. Sometimes I just. I think I got chills sometimes just walking through there, seeing all the. It was kind of like the 9/11 uh, memorial yeah. we saw down in. Well, because uh, they showed Pearl Shankville, Harbor and it showed all the soldiers that were on those ships or who had died. And, very very interesting if you if you like history where i love learning i mean seeing I, stuff like there, that. there's a million it's pictures amazing. on the wall and I, i'm going to show you guys, yeah. guys just a fraction of them i mean uh like not even a one percent of them um but uh it, it's no, really cool so okay so that I was, was world war ii so then it morphs more into the uh korean, korean war. war this place is amazing Amazing. A lot of history here. A lot of history. If you guys history. come to Samson State Park to camp, you better come here and check this museum out. And they trained so many, so many oh, cadets. Oh, unbelievable. Cadets? I'm not sure. I know. Maybe are they cadets, but they trained so many of them here, it's not even funny. The place it is crazy, man. Gives me the chills. It goes into From a naval base. It goes in to an Air Force base. It goes correct? into Air yes, Force. Now, it's all over. So then they they do quite a bit with the Air Force, and yes. then of course then it finally finishes after the Air Force. And they're the, playing music, the and it's the music of that time, and it's kind of like you know like the pa very Andrew patriotic sisters and very all patriotic. and other patriotic songs from that era. And, and, and I'm gonna have to have no well, yeah. audio on any of that because unfortunately I don't want to get a copyright right. strike. So. I mean, that would be great because uh, we had Chad in there too, but yeah. we can't have any of that because yeah. in the background there was, yes. you know. But I mean, I like how they on. do that, like through the whole, you know, building, mm -hmm. trying to take you back in time. It was, it was pretty amazing. I'm glad we did it. I want my children to go see it. Yeah. I'm going to recommend it to friends if they've never, I mean, it's right here. I actually think we would know? do it again when we're not so rushed and yeah. maybe take another couple that has never seen it right. or whatever. Yeah. But if you do Samson State Park, as far as all mm -hmm. the camping and the campgrounds are sprawling, but that's not even a tenth of the grounds that are in this whole entire park um, because it's huge. They even have an airfield. Annual dog show every year too, big dog show. Here at the, mm -hmm. at the park because they can hold thousands this year thousands of covid it, it got canceled and so last year when we were here it was nice to see some of the show dogs and so if you come in this around this time in september this is they always have it this time we always come the end of september because yeah, that's so. what um we also met the curator of the museum yep and she told we'll, us a lot we'll put her in there too yeah and you'll see her She's very nice. So we highly recommend, yep. uh, you know, when, oh, when you do a nice Samson trip, uh, if you got a boat too, bring a boat. They got a gorgeous, beautiful, brand new beautiful. marina down there. Yeah. And uh, I'll filter some of that yeah. in. Um, I, you, can't, you can't beat it. And you're about midway on the lake. So, I mean, we're, we're more used to being on the top yeah. of the lake. And so now we're about midway on the lake. So very easy to get to Watkins Glen uh, by boat from here. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to do Watkins by boat and then work your way up. We like the Tiki Bar down there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a sandbar, yeah, Tiki we're Bar. Here, so we're not going to talk about there. Well, I'm just saying, if they come here, they got great access <laughs> oh, to a yes. lot of great places on the lake that are close. Oh, yeah. So you got to tell people what... <laughs> she's just she's unbelievable. <laughs> you got to tell people what they can maybe know, get when they come maybe here. Maybe we'll go there and then they'll see it too. Well, we're not Hopefully. going to the sandbar this trip. No, anymore. I mean it's no, I know. We got more I new mean Watkins Glen is pretty in the fall. Jesus. I mean you guys do nothing but complain about how you can't stand it in this place here and then you haven't got the guts just to walk out. So, as far as grading this park, um oh. you know, it, it, it's spacious. Here's an overview of the five camping loops and we'll speed it up.
do not rate on top of one another. I mean, right from here to our next site, we've got 100 feet or 80 feet, you know, so it's really, really nice with the spacing. Yeah. But you're not going to get right. septic or sewer. Right. But they do have a dump station. <laughs> but if you leave on a Sunday like we're going to leave on a Sunday, and we know this, it's a line a mile long. Uh, so you better do it early, like 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, because <laughs> if you try to wait around 10, 11 o'clock, it's, it's terrible. So when we build our pole barn at home, I put in a septic that goes into our tank. So, um, so we, we kind of cheat. So we, we can bypass it if we want. <laughs> we can go there. Right. So that's up in the area. Because when we get back, okay, two so, days later, we leave again. So Yeah, we're going to be going. Like to another trip we're doing now next is the Association Island, which we've been wanting to do that. We kind of put that back a couple weeks because they couldn't get us a lake mm -hmm. site, you know, right on Lake Ontario. So they're getting, they had us one one site away from yeah. the water and we wanted to have the back end backed right up to the water we're going to have our good friend stan and ann with us you guys might know remember him or know him steamer we call him he's he's comical Funny, as yeah. all son of a gun Funny because he has everything because he has debbie i mean oh. when you have debbie you literally have oh, everything I mean, we're not funny, he's funny. Yeah. So we'll have him. And he gets going. Yeah, yeah he gets going. Anne's totally the opposite. We call her the babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> she basically is uh, yeah. eh, his uh, she just designated driver. And and yeah, it's, it's funny. So we'll have that coming up on the next video for you guys. And that will be really, really yes. fun too. But to highly recommend this place. Um, mm -hmm. Just because how sprawl out. It is and how it is it's got great amenities as far as the lake and the marina and there's a beach down there yeah. playground yep i'm gonna uh, go store, on, a, ice cream, on a scale of one uh, to five being like ice cream I, you go and get ice cream. i know we did brennan beach as a four i'm gonna give this about the same three and a half to a four, four definitely yeah. on a scale up to five five but five we're talking about yeah. premium parks i mean we're talking I'd about the it, ones that I, are out west it depends with what you like too though and, so i'd give it a four because it's beautiful and we got to learn some I'm, history I'm, I'm between and, three and a half and four yeah. and, and that's that's not a crappy mark by any means by us because you got to remember we're saving that five for creme <laughs> de la creme yeah. i mean we're talking concierge palm trees you know we're talking the right two hundred dollar a night type of rv life well, so. i'm hoping association is a five Left turn here. My uh, neighbor's campsite said fork left, but I'm not sure if this is the fork left. It really doesn't look like a fork. How you doing? Take this Y. That looks like what he said. It's going to turn into kind of a gravel dirt road. So here we go. Okay, everyone, so I had a little party for KJ. Uh, his birthday was that Tuesday, and I invited limited friends for it. Yes, the cops still showed up and shut us down. Uh, and we apologize to all our neighbors for that. Wait for Stan to stop talking before the party begins. I know. Right. Hurry up.
Good I video. Go to, I think Harry's over now. I gotta I'm go going to get fried tomorrow, tomorrow everyone. <laughs> I got it's a Yeti, Yeti, everyone. <laughs> it's it's, oh, it's, it's original. A Yeti. Fart plugs. Oh, oh, open oh, that now. <laughs> See? You wouldn't get your okay. Bottom uh, head. You, <laughs> you could have. They think I'm an alcoholic. Because you know Debbie's going to end up with it anyway. Thank you. <laughs> if you can, there's Linda again. Just show you who's she. They know, you know, your age now, they, they hired the old for Walmart greeter. Yeah. <laughs> Read the back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Usage, take daily for Debbie. <laughs> oh gift. my, uh, do you hang them in your car? No, you have it on oh. your head. It's a cap. <laughs> oh, I oh, couldn't tell. I couldn't see it. I got a boot on. Like I got You're going to want to suck them, dude, but that's what you can. Are you going to be called? Because we're close. You got to wear it tonight. Hot head, are you now tin head? I heard of a booby head. I've never heard of a booby head. <laughs> put it over, you can put it over her face tonight. Where do you get the other Are they getting harder? <laughs> he, yeah. He's getting grossed out right now. He's like, man. No guy. Okay. Look, looks, you looks say just so. like Christine. Okay. <laughs> All right, come Christine. on. You got to cook. So okay, let's go. we're finishing up Samson State Park. <laughs> it's Sunday morning. Beautiful Sunday morning. Yep. And they're, uh, as you can see here, they're lined up for the dump station right outside our camper. And it still goes another 15 or 20 rigs north of that. So. We're gonna bypass uh, that, I think. Yep. Our new friends over here from Groton by Cortland, we want to say goodbye to them, but they're already out fishing, I guess, because they're gonna stay an extra day or so. So here we go. Uh -huh.